wow. Immediately I'm scanning, like, who are the heteros? Where? What? Did you say front row center? All right, you know what? You have a dope-tastic jacket on. That is amazing for a hetero. <laughs> uh, I am a queer. We don't really call ourselves that. That was weird. I don't know why I jumped that way from hetero, but I am queer. Um, to give you the quick version of my coming out story, has anybody here seen The Passion of the Christ? <laughs> anybody? If you've seen it, you pretty much know what happened. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm Jesus, okay? I'm not saying that. I'm saying my coming out was the equivalent of a mid 2000s movie. Okay? Like it ended exactly how I thought it would. And after it was over, my parents insisted on turning it into a trilogy. They were like, "Okay, can you come out to your grandma now? This time she's going to put her hearing aids in." Now I'd like you to come out to your Uncle Randall. This time he's gonna put his hearing aids in. Uh, I'd like you to come out to my hairstylist so I can look into any lesbian daughter discounts I may be missing out on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, that was funny. <laughs> yes. yes. That's what I want. I was talking to my friend today earlier and uh, she was like, somehow we were talking about fighting and she told me, yeah, I've fought people, I've punched some people and I was like, whoa, who have you punched? She was like, some people, you know, you punch people, you come across. And then, but then she got really excited. She was like, but you know what I'm really into? Leg wrestling. She's like, Amanda, have you ever leg wrestled? <laughs> I'm like, as a former childhood closeted lesbian, yes, I've leg wrestled. <laughs> like, Have you ever seen leg wrestling? It's basically scissoring with clothes on. All these uh, street muggles up front, like, if you want to know where scissoring came from, I guarantee you it was two bitches leg wrestling and then they were like, I want to add this into our nightly sex routine. Uh, I do have a girlfriend. Um, thank you. My girlfriend is not what you expect. I don't know what you expect. All I know is every time I tell somebody she's a neurologist, their face looks pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Like, quite frankly, I didn't know you had the body to get a neurologist. <laughs> one time I told somebody, one time I told somebody, and she actually asked me if I knew what neurology was. <laughs> like, bitch! <laughs> no! <laughs> but I googled it, somebody asked me what neurology is. Anybody ask me what neurology is? It is a branch of medicine. <laughs> Probably the one with the most lesbians, I don't know. <laughs> um, my girlfriend and I, we, uh, we recently relocated. We moved from uptown a little closer to downtown. And as soon as we got all nice and cozy and unpacked and settled in, our neighbor informed us that on one side of our house is a house owned by a crazy person who lets crackheads squat in it. And right behind us is a halfway house for level three sex offenders. So, you know what that means. Our backyard barbecues are gonna be jumping! It's gonna be like, don't, 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 let me hear it from all the lesbians from Ariska Hergatu! Man, she's still gonna be fighting crime 50 years from now. That show will never die, ever. Ever. Thank God. <laughs> it's that time of year. 
you know? It's that time of year when spring, your sister has a baby, and she tells you that you're not allowed to be alone with it because you hotboxed her at the Mall of America two years ago. <laughs> Just to give you a little picture of um, kind of how how my family sees me, um, I was talking to my sister not too long ago, and I forget what we were talking about, but um, she turns to me and she goes, Amanda, you've done heroin, right? <laughs> um, does anybody here know what a comedic musician is? Anybody? Uh, if I wanted, I could kind of just get up here and like sing with a funny voice, and then you think that's what it is? Sloppy, 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 sloppy. Hello, everybody. I'm Adam Sandler's bastard gay daughter. <laughs> um, you know what? Uh, I'm really thankful to be here. Super thankful because as a musician, I end up doing a lot of open mics at coffee shops and like. The thing about doing an open mic at a coffee shop is when you get there, nobody who's there is there for the open mic. Like, they're doing their homework, they've got their Excel spreadsheets out, and it's like, surprise. You may have come for a scone, but you gonna get a Bob Dylan cover song. <laughs> uh, I will not be singing Bob Dylan, but I will be singing <laughs> We Are in Minnesota. Why the hell did I say that? <laughs> okay, okay, obviously we've got some Bob Dylan fans over here. I mean, okay, yeah, I appreciate Dylan. Yeah, okay, all right. <clears throat> um, instead, I'm going to do some comedy music. What about some woos for that? I'm gonna do a song about uh, kind of the way my family sees me. It's called Loser. <laughs> Mama thinks I'm a loser because I gave up Jesus for boobs. It's okay, I'd rather burn in hell than give up pussy. Daddy don't think much of me because I ruined his dreams of spreading the gospel of Christ and not spreading my legs for girls named Christy. Some people think I'm great, especially nerds and all the junior high lesbians on Twitter. Some people think I suck, like probably you and anyone who's ever followed me out of a bathroom. I just ate four bowls of Captain Crunch. People who like the D. Um, that would be you guys. Or just you two specifically. The D is, uh, d d okay. People who like the D. Is this what it feels like after giving blowjobs? You know what, never mind. Don't answer that. It feels like we've gotten off track. Where was I? Oh yeah, my sister thinks I do crack. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy up over my butt. That's what I would sing if I was bad as they thought. But I'm up here singing about my panic attacks from my pubic gray hairs, cause they're everywhere. I don't recognize my own bush anymore. Mama thinks I'm a loser. Because I say fuck way too fucking much. It's okay. I eat disappointing my parents every day for lunch. Sometimes I work out, like this one time last year. When I worked out once in a whole entire year. My pants all have big holes in the crotch. <laughs> People who know how to sew. Does anybody here know how to sew? <laughs> Nobody? Anybody know? No hands? Nobody know? No hands? Oh, what? Oh, thank you. I need to fix my crotch. How much do you charge? You know Don't answer that. It feels like we've gotten off track. Where was I? Oh, yeah, my crotch is totally whack. My name 
name's Amanda Coster. Thank you guys for coming out and listening to this comedy music tonight. We've got some great performers coming in.